Yeah, very good. Um, you know, coming here, it's I guess as everyone knows, especially on the day, the day when the sun's out and it's drying the pitch up, can be difficult. But you know, the boys were very good, very professional. You know, didn't give Livingston very much at all in terms of territory or, or getting into their box, which is always important up here. And then just in an attacking play, we just we stuck at it. You know, because first half we could have scored. We got any, some great areas. Maybe final ball wasn't there. Things get blocked. But again, we just showed that kind of calmness, which is important at this time of year. It's easy to get dragged into panic mode and think we need to go chasing the win. Just stay with the performance, stay doing the same things and just were relentless and eventually they, they break. So that's what happened when we, we come out uh, convincing winners. Did you see how important Rio is for the team? You know, he was on it right from the first minute. Really. Yeah, and he has been in training. That's, you know, pretty much why the gaffer thought, you know, get him in the team quickly because he's he's been terrific the last few weeks. He's come back in in good condition, worked really hard. I was at the game uh, last week to give him some minutes and he was, he was really good. So... It was time to unleash him, and I think you can see what, what he brings to the team. And it's, even when he comes off, Palo comes on, you know, gives a bit of buzz and, and gets his goal. So, you know, it's good the squad's taking shape. You know, Cam's in our 90 minutes under his belt. Um, obviously, Real being back in, and, you know, pretty much almost that full bill of health. So, uh, we're in good shape getting into the, the run in. Um, but for us, it's just focused performance and, and maintain that level. In terms of the women's job, haven't you? Like yeah, and that's been the challenge, and that's that's part of football. That happens sometimes, and that's affected the rhythm sometimes, performances sometimes. But you know, in the last period, we've been very good. We've really given away like one or two cheap goals, which has kept our teams in games. But especially our attacking play, it's been really good. You know, very um, good from our front players and how we provide them, and then the kind of end product of scoring a lot of goals. So again, it's just staying on that. Um, but even today, the defensive part of the game, you know, in terms of if you allow Livingston to get up into your half and get balls in your box, that's when the trouble starts up here. Whereas we stopped that from source, which was from Kyogo and Dizan and Nick from the front end, you know, and then our midfield and around that, and then the back boys dealing with anything that comes along. So that's a really crucial part. Everyone thinks when you come to Livingston, it's very much about, you know, going and breaking them down, which is very much part of it. But it's, you know, for us, it's just as important how we defend against that and how we press to stop them giving us difficult moments. And at the same time, we also know they can force mistakes and give us chances, which we got a couple first half for. Uh, from as well, so it's just a as a performance as a whole. It was, it was very pleasing. So going back game. to um, going back to Rio, everyone knows what he's done in big games to Celtic over the two years he's been here. Can he be a difference maker in this run? I think that's always the case for your best players, you know, and he's, he's shown that, you know, in terms of big games, he's got big performances. Again, he's obviously not fully up to speed, but I think we can see today he's in, he's in pretty good condition there, and um, just the confidence he brings the team as well. You know, having that play with the composure he's got, you can see even in a difficult pitch, how he can just kind of bring a calmness to the game in the right moments. You can see the passes which the front players you know, thrive off um, and, he, and he gives us a kind of slightly different dynamic. So it's important to have him back. You know, it's just, you know, getting through the week now and, and getting that wee bit extra far and um, going into next week. You talk about that clean bill of health that the club are nearly there, obviously Cal quite clearly returning next weekend. How do you feel you are shaping up ahead of the, the massive game in seven days time? Good. I think, um, you know, again, the injuries at times have hampered us. That's Thing, but we deal with that. Um, but as I say, as you know, the, t the squad are looking good, and you, you, you see it in training. You sense it in training. You know the the group, the numbers starting to come back up, the quality starting to come back in, and the standard starts to raise. And you know, with the Hearts game, um, who we also go down to ten men very early. We've we scored seventeen goals up to the, in four games up to now, and we scored another three today. So in that respect, it's it's very pleasing. You know, there's elements of the game defensively we want to kind of stay on top of and not slacking off. And if we do that then performance as a whole is, is very much wins like today where we dominate games and we give nothing away. So that's always the objective, to, to have that level of performance, but the boys showed a, a terrific level today in terms of what, they, what they've done. The midfield the was particularly good. You know, Matt O'Reilly seems to be now getting back to where he was starting to see scores as well. Yeah, no, he's, he's been crucial for us this year, and um, especially when Callum comes out of there, you know, the, the dynamic changes slightly. But again, even Tomoki today in terms of physicality, he gives in there the number of times he picked up second balls or broke up, you know, attacks that, that could have been threatening. He was really good down there and that allowed Rayo and, uh, and Matty to go and get involved further higher up, higher up the pitch. So it's a good dynamic, you know, they've got good options in there now, so um, that'll be crucial for us getting into the running. Smack, top of the league, you have a head and goal difference now as well. A lot of players played well. Do you think you're in real good shape to take on Rangers now? Yeah, I think we are. I think if you look at it in terms of, as I said, the way we're attacking and our control, especially today, um, but our attacking games really clicked the last little while, you know, especially, you know, having the front players, but even Nick coming into the equation, you know, initially he had a period off, came in kind of unfit, um, but you now see he's now up to speed, you know, Yang's obviously back from suspension, so we've now got options as well, so it's not just the starting players, it's 
what comes in behind that. You know, today you're pretty much changing the front three. When you look at the second front three, it's a strong front three. So um, we've got lots of options, which is going to be important for us. Um, and everybody will contribute. You know, that's an important thing for for everybody in the squad. Is you know maintaining the levels of training, which has been superb. You know, and that prepared us best for the games. And anybody that's called upon, you're ready to roll. Hi, good. Again, it's like any other game. We just kind of have to approach it in the, the same manner as we have done. Don't get too involved in the emotional. Work? Yeah, it's not get involved in the emotional side. Sometimes that can be a burden. So for us, it's purely performance. You know, focus on the training, and then make sure we're prepared for the game. Thank you.